Hey there, Sam Visnick here from Release Muscle Therapy, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you four very simple exercises that work extremely well for SI joint strength, stability, and function. So stay tuned. So what I'm gonna have you do is to keep your heels together, and what we want is to turn the toes out just a little bit. And the reason why we do that is because the glute fibers don't go straight up and down, they go at an outward angle. So slightly turning the toes out allows room in the hip to move. So we have the toes slightly turned out, the heels are touching together. We're gonna initiate the movement by squeezing the glutes and lift both legs as high as we can get a full glute squeeze. Now notice we only went so high as to not pour into the lumbar spine. We hold that position for the amount of time that's recommended on your exercise program and then lower back down, not by letting the lumbar spine drop the motion, but just simply by letting the glutes relax. So first of all, the alignment, as with anything else, is really important. So we want to make sure that the toes are pulled underneath you so they're in the ready position. I find that actually starting in the kneeling position or in the halfway position is the best way to do this exercise because it's easy for us to get into the right position before we start to load ourselves. So the first thing we want to do is to make sure that we over tilt the pelvis a little bit so that the lower back is flat. Now, the reason why I go flat in this position is because as soon as you start to straighten the legs and to load it, the back is going to probably dip down a few degrees, which if we overdo it in the beginning, will end up putting us in neutral. So that's where we want to be. The next thing we want to do is to lift the chest up so we get rid of some of the rounding in the upper back. So chest up so we get a little extension and then we tuck the pelvis underneath. And as you can tell, this is very tricky to do both at the same time. The pelvis is going into a slight posterior tilt and then we're trying to extend the thoracic spine, which is a little challenging. The next thing we do here is we want to tuck the chin and elongate the neck. So that way the cervical spine starts to flatten out a little bit as well. So now we're in a nice straight line there. If we put the stick across the back, it should be in a perfect position. Now all we have to do is from here maintain these elements and just straighten the knees. So go ahead and we hold. And the first thing you see here is that this position when you're in a half kneeling causes a little bit of a, uh, an angle up here. This is easy to fix. All you have to do is just drop the pelvis down a little bit. So we hold for the allotted amount of time on the program, holding all those elements. And then when you're done, just break the lock in the knees and go to a resting position. We can do this exercise with body weight, or you can use uh, a simple body bar, which the one that she's holding is about nine pounds, or of course you can use two dumbbells and put the heads of the dumbbells together. So the instruction is, is to stand with your feet about hip width apart, your toes should go straight ahead, and you wanna put about 60% of your weight on your heels. That's gonna emphasize the glutes. So from there, we always keep the bar or the dumbbells touching the skin, so that it should always slide straight down from there. We hold the arch in the lower back, and this is done by creating what's called an anterior pelvic tilt. That's where we imagine that the pelvis is a bucket of water and we're tilting it forward, and we maintain the arch in the lower back. Now from there, she's going to just bend forward, sliding the bar down until she gets down as far as basically until the lumbar spine starts to round. And that's about it for her. Now come back up again, and notice that she has a lot of range of motion. She can get that bar down to about mid-shin level. Most people, I suggest, are going to be able to go only as far down as below the kneecaps. So about right below the kneecaps, that's about as far as it's going to get. For most people, the lower back is going to start to round. Okay, now come back up again. Now when we lift from this position, what we want to do is we can engage the abdominal wall first. You can tighten your abs. And then what we want to do is to lift the hip as high as we can off the ground so that the body is in a line, so the, the spine is straight. Now, to protect the shoulder and to get a little bit out of the, the shoulder girdle, a good corrective exercise, we want to push the shoulder away so we get the shoulder out of the joint. That's going to protect the shoulder joint so we're not slouching and hanging into the joint. So we lift the chest up. We've got the pelvic tilt. We hold for the allotted amount of time uh, as prescribed by your corrective exercise program and then we allow ourselves to lower back down again. Mm -hmm. 